Hi, my name is Agata. Welcome in Agata's Cottage. Today I have mixed kind of video for you. It will be my late Friday shows and kind of weekly catch up type of video, plus a relation from the open day of Beyond the Pink Door. So uh, we had relatively busy week. Uh, when I left you last Friday, I was full of excitement for making uh, things uh, over coming days. Unfortunately, m my infection, whatever it's bothering my body, come back. So I spent most of the weekend on the couch with almost 40 degrees fever and drinking hot tea and wrapped in three blankets with a hot water bottle and still being cold. Anyway, I'm on the mend, I'm again on the meds and my uh, primary uh, care physician and myself are investigating what's the story because it's ridiculous at this stage. Anyway, I'm feeling okay. Uh, it's probably something to do with the inner ear. Let's hope it's nothing too serious. It's just something that keeps lingering about. So I haven't done as much sewing as I was hoping last week. Um, I did few things. I don't have them with me because most of them are already in the wash because they were worn yesterday or they have been gifted. But I have all the pictures and I will pop them uh, quickly here. Actually, I have a list, so I won't forget. But before I will get there, um, Friday sews was organized by uh, Jen from today in the sewing uh, in today in Jen's sewing room. Thank you, Jen, for organizing this hashtag. Uh, and under this hashtag, you can see a lot of videos from various vloggers um, about their makes, about their plans, a bit about their life. It's like having a chance to catch up with a friend uh, over a cup of tea. My cup of tea is waiting there. Um, I still haven't catch up on all the videos, even from the previous week. It's just... I've got, got mental recently. So Alice was on a school break, which means I didn't have as much time sewing as I normally would. Uh, we did some things together and this week was very busy in the kitchen. Uh, we on Monday I made her a hoodie uh, using fabric from the last Think Pink subscription box. I will pop the picture above. I used pattern by Ellie and Mac. It's a Be Creative hoodie. Uh, I added kangaroo pocket because Alice preferred this type of pocket. Um, I used size 14 even though Alice is 10, 10 and a half, but she's tall enough for the size. 14 and uh, this type of hoodie is relatively slim fitting maybe not slim fitting it's closer to body than some other of the uh, alien mac patterns uh, that i tried before uh, so i thought that size 14 would be grand because she can still wear it next hopefully next autumn and if i'm lucky enough next spring like i mean spring 2024 if i'm lucky enough uh, because I did make the cuffs a bit longer and the sleeves a bit longer. So for now it's uh, below her uh, hip length. So hopefully it will last. She loves it, by the way. It's very comfortable. And she did got a lot of compliments yesterday uh, when we were at uh, Beyond the Pink Door. She had a little patch with the boss lady. And believe me, she did try to boss some people around, including me. Um, what else I did? On Tuesday we had just crazy day. We both had dentist appointment and some other stuff that we had to take care of. And Alice was very brave even though she had to have the teeth removed. Uh, it was just, you know, first tooth, but it had to be removed. Um, we did, I did a lot of sewing on Saturday. So, not on Saturday, sorry, on Wednesday. On Wednesday was my sister's birthday and she was coming to us for dinner on Thursday. So I wanted to finish uh, birthday gifts I started for her. So I made her a Billy wearable blanket. I made her one last year and I know she loves it so much. Uh, she asked can she get another one at some point. So I made her one for her birthday. I used remnants 
for making head wrap because I know that she likes wearing head wraps after a shower. Um, and I use tutorial by Alisa from Thoughtful Creativity. And I did, what else I did? Oh, and I did the pillow. So I had a lot of um, scraps of the fur fleece. So I used fur fleece from Ecobee. It's gorgeous fabric, so soft, so nice and cozy. But when you are cutting it and when you are sewing it, it's like, I felt like I murder flock of pastel parrots because fluff was everywhere. I had it in my eyes, I had it in my nose, in my ears, in my hair, all over my clothes. It looked ridiculous. But anyway, it took me four attempts to vacuum house to remove the fluff and I still spotted some fluff this morning. So yeah, it's, um, it's gorgeous fabric when it's made up, but when you are cutting it and when you are sewing it, it's, uh, it's a bit messy, but well worth buying, especially, you know, there isn't that many nice fur fleece uh, around. I will actually leave the, I will leave the link to the patterns I'm mentioning and to the fabrics in the description below. And I had some, like I had a rectangle left of the fabric and it wasn't enough to do anything particular. And I didn't want to do second head wrap and it was a bit too short for a, for a head wrap anyway. So I thought I have a lot of little remnants and I will just make a pillow. So I just, you know, so around rectangle stuff, all the remnants from the, from the fleece inside and those little off cuts and I had some off cuts from the Billy wearable blanket that I made for my sister-in-law last year so I just shove them all in and do the blanket not blanket stitch uh, invisible stitch to close the opening and uh, she got full set uh, in the matching color so I'll pop all the pictures above and then Thursday we spent whole day frying donuts and frying uh, mini cinnamon donuts and angel wings uh, if you i will pop some pictures uh, so you can see how they look it did took a lot of time and then we had chris's sister over for dinner and what else we did oh and um on friday alice had a friend over we were baking cookies for uh, the open day of Beyond the Pink Door and I made my cuddle tunic because you know I I realized that I actually despite of the fact that I did bought a fair bit of fabrics from Andrea I mainly do stuff for Alice or for Chris in those fabrics and I haven't made anything recently for myself I just made one jumper last autumn and I thought that you know it's time to get something new so um yeah, I did finish my cuddle tunic that I was talking about in my February plans. I'll pop the picture here. I only have a picture of the tunic on the hanger because I don't know how, even despite of the thinking yesterday, whole day, that I need to take a picture of myself, you know, in the whole dress, it didn't happen. But anyway, it was super cozy, super warm, extremely comfortable pocket in cuddle tunic is to die for i did hack the pocket a bit so i had add line of stitching to make the pocket smaller because normally pocket goes basically up to your knees and i don't need big pocket like that i just uh, use the tunic um, piece of the pattern to mark the line on the skirt and connected the um, skirt piece with the pocket piece kind of like close it uh, a little bit higher um, than it is on the dress and I love it it's in the wash because it was worn yesterday for so long it can survive five hours driving so it needed to be washed so that's all oh and I made one pair of panties for eyes but I don't have a picture but you know everyone needs panties um I haven't I have few 
pair of panties started for myself i haven't finished them uh, they need a green overlocker they need green thread for the uh, elastic and i actually have a green thread in my machine so hopefully today or tomorrow i will get to it now uh, so that was what i made uh, oh i forgot i made forever flounce top for alice uh, i made it last monday actually in the uh, jacquard knit from beyond the pink door in the animal print that alice got last autumn and turned out great i did um lettuce hem on the flounce and to be honest doing lettuce hem on a flounce is challenging when you are using jacquard knit because jacquard knit doesn't roll like typical jersey you know when you're doing lettuce hem it's handy when the jersey actually rolls a bit because it's easier to do the hem this was lying flat as it could yeah it was it was a bit challenging but i got there finally anyway it's done i have a picture i don't have pi picture of her wearing it because it's a bit big we made it in the next size up for her so uh, she can wear it like closer to mid spring or next autumn uh, but she was bothering me to use this fabric so i i had i had to do it so that was all what i made last week now well we did uh, bought some fabrics and i had some deliveries this week i will show you bits and pieces i i don't have everything so on tuesday when we went to dentist our dentist is beside whites so um we popped in there um to have a look if there is anything that alice like because she was a bit upset after dentist and i told her she can pick up fabric for a new blouse or top for herself assuming that she will be willing to make them so she did so she picked two fabrics one and they are already after wash so they are a bit wrinkly one is this cute uh, cotton with kitties so we got meter of each and we are thinking of the um calling stop by ellie and mac and the other one is this cotton with horses so you know just plain summery fabrics uh, nothing too exciting but they are nice and they should be easy for her to sew i got delivery from ecob one day last week i think that was on Tuesday, monday or tuesday so i ordered myself new mat uh, self cleaning mat just a small one uh, i think it was tenner because my old mat is the mat this, my old small mat is mat from aldi that i got six seven years ago and is in bits and um i do often use mat this size to either cut my ribbing or to uh cut my like when i have it in the tabular uh, block or to do um cuts for quilting and like i have big 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 mat here but it's 60 by 90 centimeters so i just take it out when i need to cut a lot of the big stuff this is just handy uh, to have uh, at hand and i got a few other things from ecobi i needed more rope i i got a um, few pieces a uh, few different colors i will just show you some of them i got like pink and blue because i do like to match the strings in the hood and i do like to make uh, functional drawstrings in the hood i don't understand the idea of having the strings that you cannot pull down and basically get yourself super cozy in the hoodie what's the point I'm, I'm i'm extremely practical person i'm i'm I, in in this regard so i needed more i got also neon green and some gray a few other colors i will leave the link uh, below it's it's very handy so this one is a bit thicker it's the polyester blend this one is just a cotton and it's thinner but i do love them i got some fold over elastic it's one of my favorites and it's very handy on makers 
and I got some uh, jersey bias binding. I got in few colors. Um, I was running very low on what I had in my stash, and I do use it a fair bit uh, for finishing necklines, sometimes for doing hems. It's actually very handy to do the hem uh, if you are like short on fabric and you don't want to uh, use an inch of the length of your top you can just use this and it's just uh, I think a quarter of an inch that you use that so I, I got that I got some chalk some needles because you know you never have enough needles and it's very good to have like little stash of needles because you never know when you break them I Every time when I open new packaging of needles, I check do I have at least one more in the same size. Because Murphy's Law is every time I don't, something happens and I break all the, all the needles. And then I either, either need to wait or I need to drive to the shop to get my favorite needles. So since I'm keeping an eye on my stash, I very rarely break needles. I don't know, it's karma or something. Anyway, so I got that and I needed more chalk because um, I was marking some stuff on the floor and I accidentally uh, stepped on my chalk. And um, let's say I had a lot of uh, vacuuming to do because Rainbow decided, oh, we have some nice white powder let's go and run through it so it was fun and that's i think that's all what i got oh no i got some bamboo toweling uh, just in a uh, light gray color um i needed four pads so i haven't done any yet um they are on my to-do list probably it will be march before i will get to them uh but yeah or even april you know I need to, I will do them eventually. They are not an urgent mate. Now, what else would I have on my list? Um, so, uh, what I plan for to make for next week. Um, I haven't done our Valentine's tops, so I do hope I might get a chance to do them. I know it's past Valentine's, but they weren't specifically for Valentine's. So I will get to them eventually. Uh, I want to do Clio hoodie for myself and i want to start recording the panel videos so it's gonna be uh, slow slow going but i'm not planning too many things for coming week and i know that i won't finish all my plans for february it's just life is busy and i have guests coming over um twice this week and i have um doctor appointment so you know at, at some point Certain things do need to take a step back. Uh, and unfortunately, sometimes uh, this thing is sewing. What else? So I will tell you uh, about Beyond the Pink Door Open Door Open Day. So uh, when Andrea mentioned that she's doing Open Day, Alice heard that and she was like, Mommy, how she, how she will manage everything on her own? We need to help her. I was like, okay. I just message Andrea, say like, listen, if you need a helper, just to, I don't know, make a tea, uh, help to put fabrics away, uh, or even direct people to the bathroom, or, you know, help with whatever, uh, we can come over and help for a day. So and Andrea said that she, that she would be happy if we will do it. So we did come over. Uh, it took us a uh, drive took us longer than expected there was a lot of trucks and lorries and buses yesterday morning so instead of driving for two hours it was almost two hours 40 minutes especially that it was raining so um you know it it, it is a bit of drive and um i i'm careful driver someone sometimes chris calls me i'm a granny driver because i drive like I'm 95 years old, apparently, uh, 10 kilometers an hour. Like, in fairness, no, I, 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 I drive between the speed limits or whatever is required for the uh, weather on a day. So it was raining and it was very windy. So I was driving a fair bit below the speed limit because there's no chance that 
that was weather to drive 120 kilometers an hour on motorway. It was just too dangerous. So it took us a bit longer to get there, but we finally got there. Um, it was great fun. There was a lot of people. I don't think I talked with so many new adults within last year as I did yesterday. And that says something. Uh, there was a lot of beautiful fabrics. I think I haven't done as many teas and coffees um, in the last 15 years, maybe even more. I think I did maybe when I was working as a private, uh, uh, as a personal assistant. So maybe on the event or, or something, I did as many teas or coffees, but yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, I just had fun too, especially when someone asked her for help with something. She was feeling very proud of herself. Uh, there was so many, like, I was beyond how uh, thoughtful and how nice and friendly everyone was. And the amazing outfits uh, ladies come over. It was just beyond. Uh, I didn't catch all the names. I remember makes. I don't, I don't, I'm not good with names. Sometimes I need to hear three, four times name of the person and actually see the name of the person written before I will, it will click in my head. I will remember patterns, I will remember outfits, names and faces isn't my thing. Uh, and sorry for a squeaky chair, um, but it was it was great fun. Uh, we, we like, it's hard to explain, like when normally you don't have people who sew in your day to day life, like in person and then you get the chance to talk with people about fabrics and you get to advise someone what they think what you think would be good fabric for a specific pattern or pattern for a specific fabric it's it's nice and we met Caroline who works with Andrea she's very lovely very nice and uh, there was Jen and then there was Julie and there was Benita and so many, so many more lovely people. Like, it was great. And we had great chats about knickers and about fabrics and what else did we talk about? Elastics and uh, favorite patterns. And uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of things. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. A few ladies asked me about the blouse pattern something that can make make be in jersey or, or viscose jersey something that would be comfortable wouldn't be too fancy nor too casual so i did recommend what i'm wearing now which is vera top by forget me not patterns i i will actually pop the video i record myself standing so you can see how it looks like i do think it's great versatile pattern and and it's easy to hack and it looks great in viscose jersey. I I made this one over a year ago, and it's well worn at this stage. It's fabric from my stash that um, it wasn't the bestest quality in the first place, but I wore it so much that uh, you know it's it's kind of overstretched a bit, but it's 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 great pattern. I I highly recommend that if you haven't. Uh, tried yet uh what else we were talking about shirt dresses and uh, viscoses oh it was just it was so much fun and uh yeah and, and i i was so focused on helping others with their fabrics that i forgot about my list and things that i was planning to make i was planning to get or check uh but I, I will get to that one day. I, I'm sure that uh, if I will ever ask Andrea uh, and if, whenever we will be in the area, I can pop in and have a look at a few fabrics that I forgot to check. But I got myself some Ponty, black Ponty for trousers. And that was the only thing that I remembered that I need to get. 
and Ali picked two animal prints. Uh, we have both plans for both of them, uh, but they will be like spring, late spring, summer makes. So uh, they will wait for a bit uh, in my stash. And I think, um, yeah, uh, basically that's all what the fabrics we got. I did got some uh, rib uh, cuffings that I actually ordered previous week. But I thought that I will show you them in the real life because they are just fabulous. Look at this. Like, it's so, I don't know if you can see it properly. It's so cute. By the way, it it's pink. I know that my camera, uh, actually my phone, keeps lying and showing all the pinks as uh, red, but it's pink. Look at this gray. It's so adorable. Like, imagine doing... Um, plain black jumper and use this for the neck band and for the cuffs and maybe a drawstring for the bottom so it's kind of like or a bow at the bottom or like you know normal band with a big satin bow oh that would look fabulous i got this one I actually have a fabric in this shade of grey and it's a teak sweatshirting uh, with relatively low stretch so I'm planning to make myself a jumper and I f or jumper dress because I think I might have enough and I will use this one for the cuffs and for the neckband and look how fabulous this is by the way it's hot pink it's not red in case the camera is lying it's just brilliant and this one is like a petrol teal not navy if the camera is lying because last night it was showing as a navy so that's the cuffings we got and i got some uh stretch interfacing as well but as i said i haven't bought that much because i kind of got in the zone and I completely forgot what I wanted to buy but I have a list and I'm slowly adding things to, to, to my cart uh, I fell in love yesterday with the new viscoses Andrea got I don't know if she showed them last week on her life or it will be done today but they were fabulous and I know I need to get some and the uh, digital print linen Oh my god, it's dipped uh, dahlia flowers. Oh, they are stunning. Like, unbelievable. And I do understand now, after touching the Liberty fabric, the whole thing about Liberty fabric. They are amazing to touch. I'm. They are still too expensive for my taste but if you have an event that you need something special oh they are fab like you know it was like i think that's how uh, aladdin felt when he went to the cave with all the uh, jewels and all the um treasures you know the aladdin from the from the stories because it was like i'm in heaven all those fabrics and the cozy colors are fabulous and no it was just it, it was it was great crack and it was great fun to talk to everyone and we got so many hugs and <laughs> it was just nice and um yeah and everyone liked our cookies which is great and so if you are in um pink door facebook group i posted the recipe for the cookies in the group because i've been asked so many times for the recipe i just said that i will just post in the group so everyone can find it and i think that's so all yeah it took us around two hours 15 minutes to drive home so it wasn't as bad as as uh, driving there but to be honest i'm wrecked today i'm so tired that when i finish editing this video i'm going for a nap there will be no sewing today or I, I don't think I can actually do any sewing and uh, my hands are very tired today
from moving the fabrics and holding the steering wheel like that so uh, yeah oh and i need to show you something so one of my subscribers and one of my friends benita made something for alice she makes bunnies uh, they are not still the bunnies it's a uh, she uses different pattern uh, i will ask her can she uh, tell me what the pattern is so i will link it down below but look what she made for alice isn't that fabulous look at the dress so it and it has even little pantalones and it has alice name and alice's birthday at the back and uh, the bunny at the back what she does she hides the back seam with the embroidery isn't that stunning and Alice's favorite fl spring flowers are daffodils so she embroidered daffodils and because Alice loves cats and Benita knows that we have two cats the bunny has hands that can be moved so they are little buttons here with the kitties and she knitted the cardigan herself isn't that gorgeous it's just so cute like Alice was uh, sleeping with the with this bunny yesterday and when I popped in she was like I'm, no, I'm not tired mommy I'm not tired and her eyes were like that I'm not tired mommy she just sat down on the bed put an audiobook in I come in here to our bedroom it's just next door uh, to grab my bathrobe and I went to her room and she was already holding the bunny like that and basically snoring <laughs> like crazy she was so wrecked but it was it, it was great fun so i think that's all for today oh uh i would like to thank to uh thank all the new subscribers and uh thank to uh, all the returning subscribers i am so happy you are here with us if you haven't subscribed yet please press that subscribe button it really helps my channel and it doesn't cost you a thing apparently some people thought that if you subscribe you need to pay no it uh, I, i'm not uh, i won't be ever as good to think that my channel deserves deserves any kind of payment for watching me it's um for me it's way to talk to people and get get out of my head a bit uh, in a slightly different way than I do it uh, normally on day to day basis um, so uh, you don't have to worry you will never be charged uh, for anything that I do on my channel um, oh, Chris is sneezing and probably trying to tell me honey speed up I need to do something <laughs> He probably wants to uh, lie down and have a nap because it's very dull and very sleepy day today anyway it's um, probably how it's time to wrap it up i hope you had a nice time watching my video and uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so yet i uh, thank you for watching have a lovely week don't forget to change the needle and clean your machine like you know it's handy to do it and see you next time